Elements Homebrew coming at you with a beer review. Tonight I've got the Bourbon Barrel Aged Abominable. Sometimes if you look it up it's just called Bourbon Abominable. It's the Winter Ale by Hopworks Urban Brewery known as Hub here in Portland, Oregon. This one packs a 11.3% ABV, it's 55 IBUs. Uh, the malts on it are two row, caramel 40, caramel 60, black malt, and black prince. And the hops are Cascade, Centennial, Chinook, Simcoe, and Cryo Chinook as well. And then they have spices in there, which they don't disclose. And then it's bourbon barrel aged in Kentucky bourbon barrels for nine months. So it sounds pretty fun. Let's get cracking. All right, here we come with the pour. And you can see it's interesting because it's a very light colored ale with all the black molts that are mentioned it i would expect it to be much much darker so very interesting now that could be because those base ingredients are what they use in the regular abominable which is not bourbon barrel aged um, it's a little bit lighter version so it might be slightly different malt bill uh, on this version let's go ahead and get the nose Oh, that's interesting. So right away, I do get the barrel quality. I get a light bourbon coming off of it. And there's a lot of caramel quality coming off of it uh, with those two, the caramel 40 and 60 on there. I also get the, uh, the some vanilla-like quality on it. I don't know if they've added vanilla or if that's just coming off the bourbon barrels. And just a, a hint of uh, some spices on there. I'm not getting a lot on the hops, even though there are quite a bit of hops on there. It was canned on November 3rd. It's now uh, December 15th, so about six weeks on there, so not real long. So the hops should be pretty fresh on there still. Let's go ahead and get the taste. Well, it's a, a medium mouthfeel. And um, it's, it's really pleasing. It's very different than what you normally think of for a winter ale because there's so much caramel quality on this. And the, the sp spices on there, okay, I'm just starting to catch some of the spice that's been sitting on my tongue. But the spices on there are really mild, um, so they're not terribly strong. But what you get is more of what I would consider like a strong ale quality. Um, you get a lot of the caramel quality on there. You get a little bit of the oak. You get some tannins off of this. It's not really high on the bourbon side, but the bourbon is there. Definitely get the vanilla quality. It's kind of a fun, unique beer. I'm going to take a little time with this and I'll be back. As I warm it up, I get a little bit more of the spice quality and, and just a little bit of the hop type quality. I, uh, I've, I've grown, you know, Centennial. I've grown Cascade. Uh, I had Chinook, I think. I can't recall. But um, yeah, it's it's fun. You you get a little bit of the qualities off the hops. Um, I don't get a lot of the Cascade. I would expect maybe some citrus coming off of this. I've heard that in the winter ale, without the bourbon barrel age aspect, you get a lot more of the citrus. I don't get a lot of that, but. You do get uh, some of the boiled hops on there. I don't know which ones they used in, in the boil, like the 60 minute or longer term boil. You get a little bit of those qualities, just a light bitterness coming off that. Those kind of blend in with the tannins a little bit, but they're pretty mild. All they really do is kind of level out the sweetness from all the caramel in the two row. And, uh, but it balances out quite nice. That little bit of bitterness you get though really makes it more of a winter ale along with the very light spices and they don't tell you what those are. I still suspect there's a little bit of vanilla actually that's not all from the barrel but this is a really fun beer. I'm quite enjoying it. I can't say that there's really a category for bourbon barrel aged winter ales. <laughs> that's probably a push but as far as winter ales go I can't rank it high because it's not really following your normal winter ale. As I said, this comes off more as a strong ale. So in terms of like winter ales, I mean, it's a nice beer, but I'd give this an 87. 
overall though I, I'm, I'm thinking a little different because it's got a nice bourbon barrel quality. It's kind of light and easy drinking, which is fun. A lot of caramel quality coming off. You get some of that, you know, oak and oak tannins and so forth, just a hint of the bourbon. Um, it's a fun little beer. So overall, I'm kind of digging on it. I'm gonna give this a 90. If this sounds interesting to you, I'd say go check it out. It is again from Hopworks Urban Brewery, known as Hub and uh, out of Portland, Oregon. I know they have some wider distribution. I can't say where all they get distributed. Uh, this is Kevin at Clemens Homebrew saying, life's too short to drink cheap beer, and I'll see you on the next beer review.